In my neighborhood, we celebrate, we remember, and we will do that coming up soon. Today would have been Dr. King's 90th birthday, if you can think about that. I was a little girl when he died, but I still remember what my house felt like and what my parents went through, my grandparents went through. There is a celebration of his life. It is called After King. I have guests here that have put so much work into this. They're inviting you to be part of it. The movie will only show a few days. Take a look, After King. After King. After the trial and tribulation of being a people climbing to the mountaintop of America. After 40 years of believing that you have found freedom. After waking up from the disparity of ignorance that we call Jim Crow and American slavery after King. Where have you found yourself? After King, being a society based upon freedom, democracy, and the pursuit of happiness for every human being after King, what have you become? After King, what does freedom mean? Is this going to make me cry? Yeah, it's a tearjerker. Yeah? Yeah. It will cut. It sounds like, though, because I've not seen it yet, it sounds like it also calls us to action, though. Absolutely. Yes. Can you, yes. uh, first off, how did you get all of this done? Because I, I noticed there's a whole lot in there, and I, I saw Louisville people. Right. Uh, how long did it take to get this endeavor done? I say about six months. We started off, uh, sent the call to the community. We met about 22 uh, African American young men in the community, and uh, we spent about two hours selecting content in this film. And uh, we started from there, and we started filming. We have about 30 people. Uh, that we interview right. a diverse group of people. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so let me first let them introduce uh, themselves. Jeremiah, you start. I'm Jeremiah Wrong. I'm the director of, of the After King documentary. All right. I'm Ronald Triplett. I'm one of the executive producers. And I'm Wayman Eddings, another executive producer. What made you do this? Uh, it's just time. It's time. Uh, uh, it's time to uh, evaluate where we are in America. I think we so much going on, so much talking, mm -hmm. and that's one thing that we don't do in Louisville and in America is listen. And so if we could just come together for one day and, and just hear each other, we could see how much we think alike, move alike. When you finished and you sat and looked at this, how long is that? It's about an hour and nine minutes. All right, when you sit and you look at this, what do you think you accomplished and and is this what you wanted to do somebody i'd like to talk about that yeah. one of the great things about this project is jeremiah wanted an honest look he went in it with no biases he said let the story tell itself so he based his cut off of the interviews of actual people so we didn't know where it was going to go but jeremiah insisted that we put the question out there and see what the stories tell us and uh I was surprised at some of the angles, but it's an honest telling of the story about where we've come. How different do you think um, this world might, might be run if Dr. King had not been assassinated? I think that um, overall our mindsets will be a lot more current, a lot more forgiving, a lot more patient with each other. Boy, that's a big statement. But. Oh. Um, because after his assassination, unfortunately, there's been a lot of turmoil in America. And uh, this, this project is really want to try to help change the mindsets of America. If you're not, you're either going to be a part of the problem or part of the solution when you leave from the theater from this project and really be inspired to try to make a change in your community, in your, in your church, in your, in your workforce, throughout your life, in your, your personal life. It's, it's a real good, unique project. Now, it's only going to be showed for a few days, as we mentioned. This will be at Village 8 Theaters. It will be at, on Saturday, listen up, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 p.m. Those are the hours. Uh, is there a cost, and will you show this movie again? Yeah, uh, it's a $10 cost. Okay. And I uh, just want to see how people respond in the community. and. Uh, you know, after that, we're going to 
reevaluate and go from there. All right, and see where it goes. Do you think it'll show anywhere else? Possibly. You we, hope? We have some calls already. Okay. So uh, we're just taking it one day at a time. All right. Anybody have any last word that I didn't add or ask for you? I'd yeah. just like to put a, a call out there to the, the viewers of Wave 3 to join us on Saturday. It's going to be a, a great day uh, filled with some conversations between showings. Uh, so definitely visit the website that was listed there to J purchase Rome online. Com. Or uh, we'll have a few tickets left over at the door and we'd love to see you to join us. So is it better to get tickets in advance? We'd prefer it, but we definitely want to keep a few tickets at the door for okay. those who there you need go. that option. JRome.com. We'll be back.